Servus and welcome everyone. Today I'd like to invite you on a short trip. And once arrived at the destination, I would be honored if you join me for a Rika run. After a flight that felt like 10 minutes, it was time to hop on a train. And we went past California on our way to the final destination. Some of you probably guessed where we are heading and others may have read the title of the video. And you were right. It's my kind of town. Simply the jewel of the Midwest. It's the city that works for me. Welcome to Chicago. You would be surprised how many nicknames Chi Town has. And how many different faces it can show you. And while it leaves a big impression during the daytime, it's even more remarkable at night. But as stunning as the city is, it's time to focus on the main event. Due to a certain age, I woke up early, grabbed my Rico GR and left the building at around quarter to six in the morning on a Saturday. The other reason was that it got amazingly hot when the sun came out in Siberia. So here's a quick update for those who might not know what a Rico run is. In short, it's a fast paced photo walk. I'm taking a camera with me, small one, that's why I'm choosing the Rico, and I'll go for a run. This time it was just too early. I stood in front of a great photo subject, the Chicago Theater, but I couldn't frame it. Yes, the aim of the Rico Run is to take something with you. But it's not necessarily the pictures. Anyway, it was time to get the circulation going and finally wake up. I have to admit, I didn't come far. By the way, the run was filmed on an Insta360 GO 2. 
And as you can see by the quality of the image, the camera is struggling. The video footage looks like it was shot in broad daylight, which it wasn't. That's why the footage is shaky and grainy. However, rest assured that there will be a strong improvement once the lighting conditions are getting better. And this explains the difference between the bright video and the darker stills. You're going to witness me doing something I normally hate people for, especially on YouTube. And that is taking a picture of someone who isn't in a good shape. I'm not very proud of myself, but I took it and I'll show it to you because I think it's a very good example of a juxtaposition. The ad in the background injects us the illusion of a hip and desirable society we're all part of, while the poor soul to the right obviously can't keep up. The photo reveals at least to me, that even in the loop, not everything is as it should be. I do think right now we are somewhere at Webbish Avenue. And I hope this is how it's pronounced. I was really amazed that in the second city, at this time of day, the streets were empty. At least almost. And here we are crossing Michigan Avenue. Welcome to Crown Fountain, where I had again a hard time framing a shot. Luckily, I was surrounded by a lot of nice reflections. And one white pigeon. I have to admit that I miss a person in some of these pictures. Even though I usually don't care if there are people in the frame or not. And as you can see, the garden in the city lives up to its name. conditions are getting better and better which play in favor of the Insta360 GO. And here is another side of the city of big shoulders. The Bean. Usually this place is pretty crowded, 
but today we are lucky. Until now I haven't covered a lot of distance. That's why I decided to split this video in at least two parts. I hope to see you in the next part heading for the sun. <laughs>